you mentioned that all of these progressive senators don't respond to your letters. Obviously, the presidents don't respond to your letters. But one person did respond to one of your letters, Michelle Obama. Could you talk about that? Yeah, this is a very important letter that I wrote. It was, I, I wrote it actually three times. Uh, you read about President Obama going to chambers of commerce, going to business gatherings all over the country, but he's never addressed uh, the voluntary nonprofit sector, uh, the groups that deal with charity, deal with children's needs, uh, environment, labor groups, religious groups. Uh, groups that are advocacy groups. And when Jimmy Carter was elected uh, president, we gathered a thousand of these leaders uh, who have millions of members, uh, like the National Council of Churches. They have a lot of members around uh, the country, or labor unions, et cetera, in a hotel about two blocks from the White House. And, and it was a very successful meeting uh, with Jimmy Carter. And it raised the profile of these groups. So I wrote these letters to uh, Barack Obama saying, uh, what, why don't you do do that. Uh, it's just uh, two blocks away, logistically very easy. Uh, you walked across uh, Lafayette Park to pay homage to the Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> Why don't you do that? It, it's, it's not only the right thing to do, but these nonprofit groups have a lot of employees. And if they get more visibility, more charitable contributions, they're going to hire uh, more people. And I tried to appeal to him on a job basis. Well, he never answered. So I sent it over uh, to Michelle's office. And uh, back came a letter uh, basically saying, uh, thank you for uh, doing that, but he's just too busy. He's just too busy to respond to the nonprofit voluntary sector of America that every day keeps his country going. The former community organizer. Busy. Pardon? The former community organizer, now president. Yes. He, of all people, he should have recognized this. He's also an expert in constitutional law, and he has violated the Constitution and federal statutes in terms of his uh, drone warfare and, and other foreign policies, right and left. You know what the lesson one is? That it really doesn't matter. Uh, if the power structure persists. It doesn't matter who's in office. It doesn't matter what ethnic, racial background. It doesn't matter how much they know, how much they don't know. They're all molded by the corporate power structure that, that uh, controls Washington uh, from Wall Street, uh, to use a symbolic uh, uh, tour. Ralph Nader.